This week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, episode 56, yeah, episode 56, titled Remax with Goku Black, introducing Super Saiyan Rosa, or Super Saiyan Rose, or Super Saiyan Rose, however you want to say it, but this week's episode was amazing! I have nothing! I can't even recap it! I can't! If I were to recap all the good things about this week's episode, I would be here for like 30 minutes. Just, just telling you each individual frame of this episode. Vegeta, when he gave like, when he, my favorite moment, I, 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 mean, I love the characters. One of my favorite, my, my first, my first couple favorite moments, my two, my third favorite moment in the episode, my third favorite moment, is when Vegeta throws the castle and has all the food everywhere, and he starts, and he gives it to the people, and you see him, like, and later in the park when you see him smiling, just anything with Vegeta in this week's episode is amazing! Then, of course, we get to some hilarious scene where, where, where Trunks and Mai are blown away and Goku and Vegeta arguing over who's going to take down Black. Oh, and then Black Transformation, the Super Saiyan Rogue, which is on point. God-like, amazing. The music in this week's episode was incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, there were a ton of other great scenes. I, I laughed out loud hysterically when Trunks made the... Face to cheer up the cheer up the little girl. I I started laughing. That thing was so adorable. By the way, who else when they looked at that girl thought of Videl? I looked at that girl and I thought, is she related to the Videl of this timeline somehow? I found that very odd. But um, Vegeta fighting Black. I was not too surprised when Vegeta got stabbed through the chest with a sword. Awesome thing. Loved it. I just knew it was gonna happen. You know, spoiled. Black transformation was, of course, amazing. That dark Kamehameha! Oh my god! That dark, like, evil Kamehameha Black did. And it was like, Kamehameha? No clue how Black is doing it. And then at the very end, like, that beam of light that is like, I get to kill Son Goku. And then the Masu comes and he lands and it just... Ah! So goddamn good! Yeah, see, this is what I want for Super Episodes! I, this, this is better than most of Z! This is, this is incredible! This is better than some of the, than some of the arcs of Z! This is amazing! This is really good! And I haven't even watched the next episode preview yet! I'm just so blown away! The transformation was great! Black was interesting! Oh, by the way, Yantarobi! We got to learn how he's alive! I was very concerned we wouldn't get to know why Yantarobi was alive. We get the reason. Apparently, Yantarobi was, uh, was with Corrin. And Corrin gave him the last sense to be before dying. And apparently, so he both... So, Goku and the others are all assuming he fights with the Resistance because he's with them. Apparently, he goes into hiding whenever the fighting starts. And then whenever there's food, he comes back. I love this last scene. I also loved how he looked like, a, like an old man, like with a beard, he looked like homeless, and like kind of like a savage. It was just Guys, this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super, 20 out of 10, perfect episode. Perfect. No problem with it. I, I know this was not a review, it was just me fanboying, but I think there's nothing else to do. You can't review something that's perfect. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video if you enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts on the episode in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. It's like One Piece Nation, signing out.